There is another concept that we need to cover in Section 5.4 of Triangle Inequality. I don't know that it has a whole lot to do with Triangle Inequality, but it is one of those things that goes with this chapter of odds and ends that we're putting together for triangles. And it is called the Shortest Distance Theorem. And we have addressed this already before in that the shortest distance from a point to a line is the perpendicular distance. And so that's what we determine distance from between two lines is perpendicular distance between two lines. From a point, parallel lines, it's perpendicular distance. From a point on a line to another line, it is perpendicular distance from that point to the line. But now that we have some ideas on some other things, we know about angles, uh, smaller angle is across from the smaller side, the larger angle is across from the larger side, the larger uh, side is across from the larger angle, so forth and so on, then we can actually look at this and begin to prove it. So let's look at this. The perpendicular segment from a point to a line is the shortest segment from the point to the line. Nothing new here whatsoever. But now let's look at it. We've drawn this point P, and we have a line, and we've drawn a perpendicular segment from point P to the line. So what we have here is we have a right angle. How many degrees is a right angle? It's 90. Okay? Now, as we move away from point Q, which is the point that's perpendicular on the perpendicular segment, as we move away over here to point B, this angle that the segment PB makes with the line AB becomes acute. Well, tell me, what's bigger? Acute angle or right angle? So right angle is bigger. Well, look at the side that opposite the right angle. The side opposite the right angle is going to be larger than the side opposite the acute angle. Okay? So even if we move this B in all the way here, it's going to continue to be acute until it is right. And then, as we move it away, it's going to continue to be acute from this side, okay? And more acute, more acute. This angle is smaller than this angle, and it's smaller than this angle. The larger side is across from the larger angle. So what's larger? PB or PQ? PB is larger. Why? Because it's across from the larger angle. Therefore, you have your proof. Okay? It's a side angle theorem. An angle side theorem is what we're using to prove this. And that's all we're looking at here. We can actually begin to prove this. Why? Because the larger side is across from the larger angle. All right, shortest distance theorem. I have a theorem for the shortest distance between things.